Take him right up here. Have a little shindig. <laughs> Isn't this so nice? Uh huh. I love stuff like that. There's a lot of holes in these trees. I love her Lexus. This girl, I'm, I'm seeing, she has this Lexus, 91 Lexus, V8, super fucking fast. Nice. I didn't know they had V8 Lexus. What that is? Snowmobile trail, they said that is something. Yep. Where did they take this? Is I don't know. Nice and flat. Must be some kind of little groomer. Yeah. ATV drag slide or something. Something with a blade in front. Because it hit that tree. You can see where the blade is, it's so Yep. That perfect little walking size. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nope. Yes. Nope. Okay. Evidence. There's the bridge. No. Look over there. Yeah, let's look over here real quick. We're in the we're in the snowmobile. Go in there. Oh, it's cool in there. Off the beaten path. Yep. <laughs> Just make a bunch of trails. Yep. It's not as fun as the trail. Oh, that is flatter. <laughs> Wait a minute. This is this a long, longer torture? No, I think the gate should be over here. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Fuck it. Uh, uh, uh. This is the old man route. Pretty nice though. I don't touch it, that's my work shirt. Yeah. Coughing out already. No. Look what that is. You probably just enter the trail system there too. Bog Hoggins. <laughs> I swear this is a good workout. You barely went nowhere. I heard something. Be robbing my ass? Yeah. <laughs> the car alarm's not going off, so. 
I think we're good. And they're gonna hike too. Let's wait and catch them. No, it's beautiful. Uh, Just beauty. Is there a couple more ponds that way? Yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, I've never been down in that side. I oh, live back in here. So nice. I didn't know this existed. My my girlfriend used to live right down there. Where the Taslars used to live. Where what? Taslars? Remember? Yeah. You remember Ken Taslar used to live down there back in the day. Past the fork? Yeah. On the right? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I think I delivered a lawnmower out there when I worked at Lumberjack Sales. Oh, dang. You lived here a while? Uh, about 36 oh. years. Oh, you know him then. Yeah. <laughs> yep. He lived right there. Yep. I live across from Buddy Hank's old farm. Oh, okay. I used to go there. I used to work hay over there one time. Huh? I used to do some hay for him over there. Hay work? I did some hay work for him. Buck and hay over there? <laughs> yeah, a long time ago, 30 years ago. Yeah, but he's gone now, yeah. so is the house. Uh, I remember he had like mercury poisoning or something. Huh? Like he had like fish poisoning or mercury poisoning or something. Like yeah, I'm the one that figured that out. Um, first case ever, but I moved up here in 80, 80 and uh, Buddy was... Eating fish, you know. I heard he fished every day. Yep. Or they just kept eating that fish. That's what I heard. Yep. And I knew what he was doing. And I also knew that Windigo was where he went and they had mercury warnings out. And he came over one day and showed me his legs. And they reminded me of the movies I used to see of the Romans dying from lead poisoning. Wow. He sores all over his legs on the bottom, you know. Yeah. And I thought, mercury, eating fish, windigo, and I knew he fished windigo. And he wouldn't listen to anything I said. I was a stupid fucker from down south, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, so I told Shaky Bill, who grew up in that big house on windigo there. And he yeah, oh, like yeah. We knew Shaky Bill life. when he lived on uh, Highland Road. Another, right yeah. Um, what you say, casualty of Wendigo, I think. Yeah. I out yep. the whole life. And I just started putting this all together. And I, so I told Sue um, to, uh, no, I showed, told Shaky Bill to get to Sue because they wouldn't believe anything I said. And get to Buddy and make him go in and have him check for mercury. Yeah. And they were treating him for dia diabetic something or other and like two things that he didn't even have is what they're treating him for. 